Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 34, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's class, we continue working with the file system object that we started in Developer 33. We are going to learn how to read and write text files. This time we'll be using the file system object, which is a little bit different than the classic VB file input output we've done before. We're going to learn how to use Outlook to send email. We've covered it briefly before, but I'm going to show you a new way of doing it today. This new method will allow us to send bulk mail and send attachments of any file type. Then what we'll do is knowing how to read and write text files, we're going to make it so we can export a customer's data file, first name, last name, and so on, email it to them. Then when they email it back to us, we'll be able to import those changes update their customer record and make a change log all that's covered in today's class of course this is the 34th developer class i strongly recommend you've taken all my beginner expert advanced developer classes before this especially developer 30 and 31 which covers basic file io and developer 33 which is parts one and two of the file system object which is what we're doing in this class so definitely take developer 33 before this one Otherwise, you won't get a lot of the stuff I'm talking about as far as the file system object and declaring it and the early and late binding and all that stuff. So I'm going to say developer 33 is definitely a hard prerequisite for this one. And of course, don't skip levels or read that page for more information as to why. I am using Microsoft Access 365 as part of a 365 subscription, roughly equivalent to Access 2019, but... Everything covered in this class should go back to, I'm going to say, at least 2007. You know the drill. Got questions? Post them down below on the bottom of this page or post them in my Access Forum. And don't forget to check out my Tech Help series, my kind of almost daily sort of podcast about Access. I make eh, two or three new ones every week. Okay, let's take a quick look at what is covered in today's class. In lesson one, we are continuing with the file system object that we started in Access Developer 34. We're going to learn how to copy a folder, which copies all the subfolders and files in that folder. We'll learn how to move a folder, delete a folder. We'll learn how to list all of the files in a folder. Copy file, copy file with wildcards, copy file with a files collection loop, and then copy a file based on either its size or its date or any other property. It's all coming up in lesson one. In lesson two, we're going to have some fun. We're going to learn about the text stream object where we can write text files. We'll talk about write line, write, write blank lines, and more. We'll create a customer text file with all the customer's details, customer ID, first name, last name, address, and so on. I'll show you how to loop through the controls on your form and export just the ones we want. Then I'll show you how to send that through Outlook email. We'll cover both send object, which we've done before, and the Outlook application, so we can send it as a text file attachment to the customer, okay? Then I'll show you how to convert some code from early to late binding, because I've got the email code set to early binding, where you need a reference to Microsoft Outlook, but we don't want that. So we're going to convert it in class to late binding. All that's in lesson two. In lesson three, now we're going to learn how to read text files back in. We'll learn about read line. Read by character, read all, which is read the whole file into one shot, right? We'll know if we're at the end of a line, at the end of the entire stream, which is the file. Then we'll read back in any changes the customer made from the file that we sent them in lesson two. We'll make those changes in our form, and we'll track the changes in a change log, which we'll just store in the notes field. All that's in lesson three. <laughs> 